I developed seeds in my backyard as a pilot program, and that started two and a half years ago. I'd had this on my mind to do this for years and years and years. It's been on my heart. Well, I got four young adults and a couple of my artist friends and started making things in my backyard. We were working in mosaics, and Jenny, who's one of the instructors here still today, she started with me in the backyard. And so we started doing mosaic pots and fountains and some garden type things. We were giving them tools for the first time. They'd never used a hand drill. They'd never used a saw. They'd never used a lot of these things, hammering a nail. They had no idea. And so here we were, we were giving them this opportunity and it was very clumsy and we were having a good time at the same time. And we just realized they took to it. Well, once we saw that there was a connection and we saw that this was actually something that was gonna be a positive thing, we wanted to find a location. So we found a place downtown, Phoenix, and it was a little studio and in the art, art area. So it was kind of perfect investigating as to if there was a need for a program like this, uh, met the uh, president of the Autism Society of Greater Phoenix, Jim Adams. And as I approached him with this idea, he said, his eyes lit up and he said, this is a great idea. He said, why don't you guys make the items that we use for the zoo walk for our, for our donors? And so with that, we had some seed money and he commissioned us to make the pieces for that year's zoo walk. What was even more of a, of a success story this year was we had some of our older, longer term students who've been with us. They were paid and they mentored and worked with the younger kids. We want to be able to start at a younger age to kind of introduce them to the program so that it's an option possibly for them after high school.